Hello, my name is Gina. I'm the founder of Big Crafted. I'm so excited to go live today. I'm going live today with Kathleen Ribeiro of KM Service. She is an amazing virtual assistant. I'm a little biased because she's my virtual assistant. We're gonna be talking today about scaling your business using a project management tool. Hi Jade, welcome. So we're gonna give K Kathleen a moment to join and we're gonna dive right in. Questions, like the more we can customize this conversation, the better. Hello, there she is. Hi, how are you? Good, how are you? You look so vibrant today, your skin is glowing. Thank you, I found the one window. It's honestly a cloudy day today, so. <laughs> that is perfect. Well, let's go ahead and dive in. Can you introduce yourself? Tell us a little bit about yourself and your business. Uh, my name is Kathleen. I am the founder of KM Service. It is a virtual assistant service um, that I offer to other female entrepreneurs. My goal is to help reduce their stress um, and make sure that their business is thriving. Um, and you know, they're not, there's not too much load on them. Um, I have recently realized that project management um, as a virtual assistant is something that I really love doing, getting, you know, other business owners organized, streamlined, um, it's just something that I really love doing. Phenomenal. Thank you so much. Um, and again, if anyone hasn't met Kathleen before, her business is called KM Service. You can definitely find her on Instagram. Um, but let's start with the basics. What is a project management tool? So project management tool <laughs> is the holy grail <laughs> in my head. Um, it is it is a tool that your, your whole business is organized in. Um, whether it, no matter what type of business you are, you have some place that you have your admin, your ops, your SOPs, your standard operating procedures, um, just everything that has to do with your business is in there. And it helps you stay organized, stay focused on top of everything, um, and just streamlines your business so that you know it is your go-to tool. Right on. Okay. And, you know, it's so nice to have a little bit more context for what that is because there are lots of different project management tools out there. And, you know, it's, it's important to find what works best for your business. But I'd love to ask you, Kathleen, and before I ask you the next question, I want to say, hey, girl, hey, to everyone tuning in, please feel free to share a little intro of yourself. Tell us what industry you're a part of. Tell us the name of your business. We want to know a little bit more about you. Um, so what are some examples of project management tools and do you have a favorite one? Uh, I am biased. I do like one <laughs> called ClickUp. Uh, I'm a ClickUp expert. I'm going through um, a VIP day and building someone's ClickUp. I do ClickUp audits, making sure you're, you're utilizing it. Um, but besides ClickUp, because I can go on forever, um, you have Asana. Asana is great, super straightforward. Um, Monday.com, a lot of people use. I currently started with someone that uses Teamwork. Again, straightforward. You put in your tasks and stuff like that. Um, what else? I, I use Airtable for one. So just anything, any tool that you can put in tasks that you can um, store data is a great way to use it. Um, so those are the ones that come off the top of my head. ClickUp and Asana, I would say, are the most popular ones used. Um, and then they're, you know, Monday. Some people use Airtable. It's not necessarily a, a project management tool, but you can use it as a project management tool. It offers so many other things too, which is, you know, great. If, if, if it's one tool that offers everything, uh, definitely invest in it. <laughs> yeah, right on. Th uh, so I know you said that your favorite tool is ClickUp. Um, but it might vary by industry based on, you know, what tool is going to be best for your business. And forgive me, everyone, I'm looking off to the side here because I've got some questions mapped out for Kathleen. Um, so should all business owners be using project management tools? Um, who is this beneficial for? And then how do you choose which one? So I wholeheartedly believe that everybody should have some sort of project management tool. Um, I know that ClickUp can be very overwhelming for people. It is so customizable that it's it's a lot. Um, if you go over to Asana, it's a little bit more straightforward, but I think that every business owner should have it. 
even if you're just starting out, you want to already build yourself up for success. So in your project management tool, you're going to have everything in your admin side. So, you know, all of your passwords for everything, um, all of your canned emails or canned templates, so that if you you're bringing on someone else, you know exactly where to go. You're putting in your brand colors, you're putting in every single aspect of your business, SOPs, how you get things done. Not only is that time consuming in the beginning, which is fine, it's going to free up your time so much the more you use it. So if you start the second you start a business, you only slowly add to it. And by the end of it, you're saving so much time. You're no longer looking for responses. You're no longer building out a template. It's all there. And then to, to if you're going to have other people come in, so you're now delegating, it's so much easy because everything about your business is in one tool. And it's easy to ask for outside help because you're like, here, everything that's part of my business that you need to know, you can do it. Right on. And, um, you know, something I've definitely been realizing as a business owner myself, like it is so important for us to rely less on our own memories, you know, for like, oh, I need to do this. And here's when it's due. And here's what I need to create before this date. It's just too many details. And it leaves too much room for things to fall through the cracks. And I know that you know, we're, we can already be very hard on ourselves as business owners. So leaving less room for things like that to happen, fall through the cracks, then we're not left feeling bad about something that was just totally easy and preventable. It saves time. It also keeps, you know, it also, I think, puts more joy back in our day because there's less pressure on us to like remember all the things. Um, yeah, sure. go ahead. Were yeah. you going to say something? No, yeah, no, absolutely. It's that. And it's like, you know, you're not only are you putting your admin stuff, you're putting all your projects in there, you're putting mm -hmm. your clients in there. And you can, you know, you're putting statuses on them so that you know that things are being on, on top of everything. And it gives you a sense of I have my ish together versus yeah. a client constantly asking you for an update. And you're like, oh, I don't know, like, Obviously, you don't know updates off the top of your head, but if you already have it in your project management tool where, you know, you have a task and it's pending and you're really waiting for the client to review it, you're going to be like, hey, I'm waiting for you to review it. Like, this is taking a while because it's, you know, it's the ball's in their court. So just having somewhere where you can just overall look at your task of your business, of your clients, it, it makes you stay on top of the game and you feel better at the end of the day. Like, I know I'm not you know, giving less attention to a client and everything is there. Fantastic. Yeah, that's such a nice overview and reminder of especially when you're delivering work to clients, you know, I mean, again, a lot of details and we want to be able to quickly and easily figure out the status of a project. Um, we have Stephanie in here who is in the interior design industry. Uh, we have Sophie in here who's also a virtual assistant. Ashley, let us know what you do. Would love to know. Um, what tools are you ladies currently using? Would love to know, like, what's working? Um, are you looking for a new tool? Please don't be shy about asking questions in the chat. We have a productivity expert here with us today, so we might as well make the most of it. Um, so Kathleen, can let's dive into that question a little bit more about like how to choose the best tool, you know, for for you, it's like from a standpoint of you have never used a PM tool. And then also from a standpoint of like, maybe you're currently using a tool, but it's not quite working. Like, how do you how do you make the jump? Right. So you want to pick the tool that works for you. Um, and I, I know that's very broad. So I'm going to go back to ClickUp. So ClickUp is great. <laughs> there is a lot of views, whether it's a command board or, you know, it's lists and stuff like that. Or maybe you need a calendar view. Um, so however, uh, however you can ingest stuff is basically what you want to find. So that might be too much. So you might want to go over to Asana. Asana is great. You mark it complete. You know, you can put, you can uh, add comments to it. You can tag people to it. Um, you can add a lot of, you know, documents or whatnot. So you might look at Asana because it's, it's more easygoing. You just click that it's, 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 it's all set. Um, click up is too much. There's too many statuses. You might not like that. Okay. You go into teamwork, teamwork, very straightforward. Um, you know, you, you tag who's, who's assigned to it. There's a start date. There's an end date. You can put in subtasks. So you really need to play around, I guess, with how do you retain information? What makes it flow? Um, if you're in a project management tool where you're, it's too overwhelming, it's too much for you, then start small. 
Um, you know, Trello has a lot of boards. So you, you just put through the boards. If you need an in-progress, you know, to-do sort of thing, that might work for you. Um, so it's really figuring out how, what best do you respond to? Because you want to be excited in your project management tool. You want to look at it and be like, this is too much. I give up. I don't want to use this. You want to make sure that you're looking at all of the ones available to you, either one that you have already tried in the past, maybe get back into it, watch some YouTube videos, ask an expert, um, one that you're currently using, um, like you, Gina, you were using Airtable and you're like, I don't want to leave Airtable. And like, we're going to figure out how to use it because you, you have your forms in there. You have all your databases are already in there. So look at what you're already using. Is it worth it? Do you like it? If you do like it, are you optimizing it? Are you making sure that it's actually working for you? Um, and then other than that, you know, ask as experts, ask other people what they're using um, and really dive deep of what makes sense to me. Do I need a board? Do I need a list? Do I need multiple colors so that I feel festive that I'm getting things done and I can change it to yellow? Um, so definitely dive deep on what makes you happy and what you know you will use versus, you know, some people use ClickUp because I like ClickUp but it's overwhelming. They're like, I don't want to use ClickUp. And now they don't have a project management tool at all. And then they're falling behind. They think everything's overwhelming. They're not, uh, you know, catching up on projects and stuff like that. So definitely find what, what makes sense for you. That is so helpful. Like sometimes, you know, we feel this pressure to make ourselves fit in a box, but there's no pressure to use any particular tool. Like it's, it really is about finding what works for you. And I love that you called out like colors. Like if you were looking to make it customized from like an aesthetic standpoint, then you might want to choose a tool like Trello, for example, where you can change the background image and you can choose the color. You know, I mean, there's so many different things that can affect our mood and our mood will affect our productivity. Um, so if you're looking for something really, really simple, um, you know, maybe, maybe Asana is the right fit for you. So um, definitely. So I want to welcome the new folks who have joined us. Hi, Brittany. Uh, hi, Amanda. So nice to see you. And then we had a couple, um, we had a couple more, what you call it, uh, PM tools mentioned in the comments. So Sonia of Real World Creative says she uses Dubsado and Notion. Jade says she uses Notion. Um, are you, what are your thoughts on Notion and Dubsado? Have you played around with those tools as well, Kathleen? So I use Dubsado, but it's more of a CRM system where, um, you know, you get in the lead and it's really your customer journey. Um, ClickUp, you can create it into a CRM. Um, there's a lot of automation that goes on the back end, so I wouldn't necessarily say it's for, you know, a beginner. Um, and then for Notion, Notion is really good for um, making sure that your client has a um, has like their own view. So there's a lot of stuff going on in Notion, but it's great to have you, a, a client um, portal. That's what I was looking for, um, where you can customize it hit and have it look super nice and stuff like that. I have used it in the past with other clients. My clients have used it. I've never used it for myself. Um, it's good if, if you get it. It's just, it's one of those things where I was like, you need to find something that works for you. No, she just didn't work for me. And I was just like, it's, it's a lot. Like, I don't want to figure it out. Um, but it's great. I love how you can create client portals in it um, and use it as a project management tool. Right on. Awesome. Okay. So the next question I have for you is I want to talk about using project management tools to scale, you know? So right now, like we've been talking about, you know, managing the day-to-day -day of our businesses and staying organized, staying focused. And of course that will help us to, you know, feel better in our day-to-day -day experience as business owners. But how, where did, what, where does scaling come into this? Like how can we use these tools to help our businesses grow? Right. So scaling is, you know, you're getting in more clients, you're getting in more money, you're also spending more time and you're more stressed, right? That's the main thing where if you want more clients, if you want more money, you, you're going to have to take on more work. What's the best way to do that? Delegate. It's the best way to delegate, making sure that you have a project management tool that works for you and makes it easier to delegate things. So, you know, you're getting more clients, you're adding more contracts in, but you can't do it all. Perfect. Now you're going to start adding team members, whether they're contractors or you actually want, you know, an employee and stuff like that. How do they, how do you do that? You have to train them. If your project management tool has everything in your admin, has your canned responses, canned templates, your SOPs, your handbook, everything is there. You adding on more people, they're going to 
go into your project management tool, you're going to tell them exactly how things work because it's already there. You don't have to search for, hey, these are my brand colors. Hey, this is how you respond to an e. Nope. Everything is there. So you're going to be able to delegate and have them act as if they were you. And that is not only are you going to scale by delegating and making sure that you're basically creating a second you, but your clients are also going to tell that the person that they're talking to is another version of you. Whether it might not be coming from you anymore, you might say, hey, this is my assistant. They're going to they're gonna be able to flow so easily into your business that your clients are going to be grateful. So then your clients are going to be like, hey, I work this person. They have an assistant. It's really great. Nothing really fell off. Um, you know, they still keep things on and nothing is... Um, nothing's behind so now your clients are gonna be like hey this person's great their business is great they run their business great um and then you're delegating where you're taking on more clients instead of two clients a week you're taking on four clients a week um and you're all using that project management system which is streamlined it's organized um and it's just it's helping you so much in 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 creating a second you Absolutely. You know that Steve Jobs quote from that graduation speech that was stay hungry, stay foolish. Mm -hmm. So I have always joked that I want to update that quote and it should be stay hungry, stay foolish, stay organized. Organization at the end of the day, being a business owner, it's, it's what makes or breaks you because it's, it's everything. You want to make sure your business is organized. You want to make sure your clients are organized. Um, the more organized they are, the less stressed you are. And I feel like that's what crumbles a lot of us is we are so stressed. There's so much going on. Did I remember this? Did I remember that? Where's the sticky note? Where You know what I mean? There's just so much. And if we were to take that stress and organize it and put it in a project management system and then delegate so that now our business is working for us and we're not working so hard on it, that's when we scale. That's when we're happy. We're like, okay, I want to take on more. Um, and I personally believe a project management tool does that. Disclaimer, I'm pretty sure I am a project management tool. Like my, it's in my soul to make sure that things are organized <laughs> and streamlined. Yes, absolutely. Okay, so I'm going to throw you a bit of a curveball here, Kathleen. Um, and I want to emphasize everyone tuning in. Thank you so much for being here. We're so happy to see you and spend some time with you. What questions do you have? Like, Wherever you are in your journey, if you're starting out and you're trying out project management tools or you've been thinking about it, or maybe you've been using one tool and you have a question about it, please don't hesitate to ask. So I'm going to wait for your questions to come in. But Kathleen, what is the impact you've seen on the clients that you've worked with like after they have either implemented a project management tool from scratch or maybe they needed to move from one to the other? Like how has it transformed their businesses? and their experience as business owners. So I had one of my first clients in the beginning, um, we actually went into Airtable as a project management tool. And she was like, I have been trying to do this for three years. <laughs> three years. And she was like, I have not been able to get any of this done. And I was like, you're welcome. <laughs> so it's really, you know, it's time consuming and I get it. Um, so take the time. 100% take the time. Um, I have another one who, uh, you know, it was a VIP day and we, she gave me her ClickUp and it was the bare, bare bones of like what ClickUp gives you. So I put it in, I made sure that she had like an admin section where her business stuff is, um, her SOPs are in there, a brain dump for her, making sure there's, there's client stuff um, and really working with them to make sure that what they need is, is like the first thing we look at. So um, you know, I build it and stuff like that, but then making sure that if they need to know this information off the top of their head, it's in their overview. Um, and it's just people like, wow, I've used like Google Excel, you know, Google Sheets for so long and having something that other people can see and you can share it and you can have teammates and stuff like that. Um, it's, it's, it's like a sigh of relief, like, oh my God, I can, this works. This works for me. Thank you for making it work for me. Like, I can't wait to share it with my team. Um, because, you know, it goes back to it. You know, you're using a project management tool. You're scaling. You're having team members. You want to make sure that everyone is getting that same information. 
Yes. Oh my goodness. Okay. Thank you for sharing that. Like major kudos to your clients um, and for the systems that you help them build. Uh, we have a question from Jade who um, I've just got to shout her out. She's our intern. So thank you for being here, Jade. Um, Jade wants to know, what's your favorite feature about ClickUp? She has heard of it, but has never, you know, taken a dive into it before. So ClickUp, like I said, it can be overwhelming, but it is so customizable. And by saying that, I mean, like, even your statuses, you can customize them. Um, I have a client, uh, I had a client who she really liked swearing. So all of her <laughs> statuses were color coded, but it was also in swears. So, you know, we'd get a new client and the status would be like, fuck yeah. Or, you know, it would be <laughs> dumb. And it was like, boom, but you know what I mean? So it's like, it's so, like everything is customizable. It's color coordinated. You can easily see, you take a look at it and everything that's to do is gray. Everything in progress is green. It needs review, it's purple. So it's like, you don't even have to read things. You can just take one glance at it and know exactly where the project is standing. Um, and then not only do you have, you know, the hierarchy of it where you have your space, where you have your folders, you have your list, your tasks, your subtasks, your checklist. Um, there's just so much that goes into it. And then it integrates with so much. So whether you're using, uh, you know, uh, Loom, like the Loom video will pop up, not just the, not just the link, or if you're using uh, like Google suite and you have a sheet in there, the sheet pops up. Um, so you can add so much resources into every task so that if, if you're working with another person, they don't have to ask, Hey, where's this? Hey, how do I do this task? Hey, where's the info? Everything in that task is there. And then you can communicate with people within that task. So I know that was a lot, but definitely how customizable <laughs> it is. Um, it's color coordinated. You can take one glance at it and know exactly where your project stands. Right on. Thank you so much for sharing that. And it's so fun to hear how, you know, what, what resonated with your client was, you know, tagging these projects with colors and swear words. I mean, if, they work. you know, <laughs> everyone is different. And if, you know, I, I really am of the mindset of like that it should be fun. And if you can, if it makes you laugh and it brings you joy and you're getting ish done, well then, Hey, like everything is good. You know, you're moving forward. Um, we have an awesome comment from Sophie, who is a virtual assistant. Um, she mostly works with uh, business owners in the wedding industry. So um, she says to take the time or outsource and hire a professional like Kathleen. Um, the biggest advice that she has learned, um, and because she's a VA, is that if it's not your zone of genius or someone can do it faster, then outsource. Um, what are your thoughts on outsourcing, Kathleen? And like, what's the impact that that can have on someone's business? Well, if you, I always say to my new clients, um, especially when it comes to delegating and outsourcing, if you would rather eat a jean jacket than do this task, delegate it, outsource it. You know, it's like, if this, if this task drains you, if you just don't want to learn how to do it, if it takes you way too long to do it, outsource it, you know, delegate it. Um, you're, I feel like a lot of business owners also start a business with a dream and a passion and they're like this is what I want to do but then they get so caught up in you know admin stuff and you know the small details where they now lost their vision and they're no longer doing what they love because they have to do everything else in the back end of their business um, and some business owners like especially creatives they don't want to do that they want to do what they love so outsource it making sure that your business is still something that you love to do you're still chasing your dream mm -hmm doesn't mean you have to do it all. It's definitely, it takes a village, even when it comes to your business. So outsource it, find somebody else that do it, that, you know, they like to do it, they can do it faster. Because at the end of the day, you're also going to scale with it. If someone else can do it in an hour, it takes you 10 hours, you can now take on 10 more clients, because it's only going to take that other person 10 hours to do it versus 100 hours of you trying to do it, sort of thing. Um, so I agree, definitely outsource and delegate. Absolutely. And so Amanda says that she is that she loves what you're sharing. Tanya says that she loves what you're sharing. Thank you both so much for being here. Um, so I want to ask you, um, I want to ask you a question. And 
Well, of course, I just forgot the question. I thought that if I just like <laughs> took a long time to lead up to it, I would remember what it was. Oh, okay. So when you're choosing a virtual assistant to work with, or you're choosing a project manager to work with, I mean, everyone has different tools that they work with and that they specialize in. Um, that being said, you know, how, what, what advice do you have for choosing someone to start working with, whether it be on a long-term basis or a one-off project? Um, so I definitely, I'm not, I'm, I'm me personally, I, if someone uses a different system than I do, um, it's fine because most of the time, if you know, click up, you know, Asana, you know, teamwork, you, you, you know what I mean? So it's like, once you know, one sort of system, you kind of know it all. Um, I know some people that will only work with ClickUp. They don't want to work with anything else or they only work with Asana. or if a client wants to work with them, the client has to purchase those systems, which is fine. Um, but if I, if I, if, if a client is, or if someone is looking for a VA, I would definitely make sure that you vibe. You want to make sure that you're actually happy to work with that person where that person doesn't seem, you know, infuriating to you, or, you know, you guys don't seem eye to eye on things. Um, and then just talk about the, talk about your tools. So I had a, I did a VIP day a while ago where um, I was moving something from lucid chart to another sort of, system where I was like, Hey, I've never used this system. I'm, I want to be transparent, but I know how to use lucid chart. I don't know how to use your new system. She was like, Oh, it's basically the same thing. Thank you for being honest. As long as you're comfortable with it. Like I'd still like to do the VIP day. So I did it. It's right. It was kind of the same thing. It was just a different system, a different name or price. Um, so I would say definitely be transparent with the tools you do know and don't know, making sure the client knows that and that, um, you know, if the client is like, hey, I don't mind using whatever you're using, um, you're gonna have to take time to teach them. So be transparent about it. Um, if you really don't know it, don't say that you do, because they can find somebody else that does it in five minutes. And it just took you two hours to get it done. And they're going to realize that. Um, and that will have a bad feeling in their mouth, like, can't trust this person sort of thing. Yeah, trust is so important. Like, so that leads me to my next question, Kathleen. So a lot of business owners really struggle to delegate and hand things off because your business is your baby, right? Like, so it's so scary. You know, you wouldn't leave your baby with a stranger and be like, okay, well, this is how you feed them and this is what they need. Bye. Like, you know, you really want to feel comfortable before you hand over the keys to the castle, <laughs> you know? So what tips do you have on, you know, for business owners who have never outsourced or delegated before, um, or maybe they have and it didn't work out, so they feel burned by it? So from the beginning, make sure you have a really strong project management tool. So that way that person can go in and take a look at all the resources they need to help you in your business. Um, two, I actually have a chart. So if anybody listening wants this chart, send me a DM, I will send you this chart. I think I've sent it to Sophie before. It's a chart where you write out all your tasks. You give your client homework of write all the tasks in your business. And then they're going to, um, and then the next one is how long does it take you to do this task? You know, five hours, one hour, two seconds. And then it's, how does this task make you feel? It drains me. I love it. Um, and then from there, it's like, okay, well now you're going to take a look at everything that drains your client. As long as you can help them, um, that that's what they delegate be like if this drains you i'm taking it over or you tell them hey i don't know how to do this task you don't like to do this task let's find a way to outsource it um so i usually start with homework for my client let's write out all the tasks there need there is you know how long it takes you to do it how do you feel when you're doing it and then let's 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 start delegating together that is such helpful advice. You know, I mean, there's definitely prep work that we can do before we invite someone into our business. I mean, it's a lot like a party, right? Like you wouldn't invite someone over for a party, like unless the food and beverages are set up and it doesn't have to be perfect, but you want to prepare for your guest in the same way that you'd want to prepare for someone you're bringing into your business to help you. Um, and speaking of project management tools, like this would be, this could be very overwhelming for business owners who don't have a tool that they are committed to yet. Many tools offer free trials, right? Like, can you let us know, you know, some tips and ideas on how to get started? You don't have to just choose a tool and then decide that's it, right? You want to try it out first? No, obviously, no, all of them have some sort of trial. Um, a lot of them is, 
depending on how many seats it takes. So mm -hmm. ClickUp uh, has different versions. There's a free plan, which I still use the free plan. It still works for me. You have so many spaces, so many seats you can add on to it. Asana is the same thing. Asana is by five. You know, the five first seats are, are free. Um, so especially if you're starting out as a business owner or you're just starting out in a project management pool, tool, you'll be able to use almost all of them for free um, until you add, you know, a lot of, a, a lot of other um, members to it or you need more features to unlock features. Um, but all of them are free from the beginning, which is a great way to get started. Put your feet in there. Um, and a lot of them have, um, you know, like universities. There's Cl ClickUp University or there's um, the Asana University. So uh, Teamwork has a university. So a lot of them have some sort of um, resource page that you can start from the beginning and actually take a look and see, is this working for me? Does this look nice? Is it pretty? Maybe that's, an, you know, you want to make sure it looks pretty and stuff. So take a look at all of them, YouTube it, you know, see if other people are using it or just go onto their website, um, take a look at their resources and then sign up. If you don't like it, don't use it. Love it. Love it. Thank you so much for everything you've shared and like mostly for the encouragement, you know, because there is, there's a lot to do on everyone's to-do list and there's a lot of pressure out in the world. But at the end of the day, this is about what finding what works for you and continuing to improve. Um, the way that you run your business. So thank you so much, Kathleen. And thank, thank you everyone you. who tuned in. Um, tell us how we can work with you. Tell us where we can find you. Um, so definitely you can go on my website, www.kmservice.co, not com, just co. Um, also <laughs> shoot me an email, Kathleen at kmservice.co um, or right here on Instagram, uh, underscore kmservice. Um, I do free ClickUp audits, so if you don't think that you're using your ClickUp to its full advantage, um, I will take a look at it and, and give you some tips. If you've never used a project management and you have questions, please feel free. DMs are open. Um, if you just need some sort of help and you don't want to talk to anybody else about it or you don't find anybody else to talk about it, DMs are open, whether it's project management, virtual assistant, or anything like that. Wonderful. Thank you so much, Kathleen. I look forward to sharing the replay of today's chat in our feed. So anyone who wants to revisit this conversation, um, they could, they're more than welcome to do that. So thank you so much. Cheers to up leveling our productivity in our businesses and have a great day, everyone. All right. Thank you, Gina. Thanks, guys.